Alright, what's going on guys? Tread back again, here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my last figure video review for The Walking Dead Television Series 5. This one will be of Tyrese. All right, good stuff. So if you guys missed my reviews for either Glenn or Maggie from the Walking Dead Television Series 5 McFarlane figures, uh, they're in the channel. You may want to click the uh, the channel name and just uh, you know watch them. Uh, they released last two days. So uh, last two days should be up. And uh, this is the last one, like I said in those uh, videos. Last one I'm going to be reviewing. Tyrese didn't pick up the others, didn't buy the Zombie Merle or the Charred Zombie. Skipped on those, not really collecting those. My top shelf here, as you can see, full of figures is pretty close to being full so you know i'm going to be continuing to collect all the survivors but uh, the zombies you know i don't really have enough space for so going to be continuing with uh, the reviews let's get into the review of tyrese so let me just uh, change the focus here so you guys can get a better look at him than you do of me and here we go so a pretty good looking figure to tell you the truth uh, i think it looks I'd say maybe, you know, Chad Coleman, 90%. Yeah, yeah. And I'd say it's almost exact likeness. I wouldn't say it's perfect. It's kind of hard for them to get a perfect likeness on these smaller figures. But I think it's, for the head sculpt anyway, yeah, it's pretty much there. That's pretty dope. Uh, I do like the, uh, the toque as well. Uh, as you can see, the sculpting, nice detail on that, nice sculpting all the way around. And I believe he was wearing this gear in the um uh premiere episode which he first which he first appeared from se way back in season three i believe uh he also has the uh, the shoulder straps which come down to this uh overtop belt and it has pouches on the back there and on the side there as well a nice deep green for that he also has his belt on there as well too and uh, pants with similar type joints to all the other figures that we're getting now from mcfarland uh the ratchet ball at the uh, knees and this uh, joint up here, which I don't really know what to call it, but basically it allows for a little bit of articulation at the top, not a full kicking motion, but decent, and uh, does allow for a good amount of uh, poses with regards to uh, shooting guns and, and using weapons and stuff like that on walkers. So it does the job well enough. Um, so good detailing of the pants, really like the, uh, the cargo pants and the width of them. You know, Tyrese is wider than all the other characters, and uh, he's a pretty big figure compared. He's, he's kind of almost the size of like a Negan in terms of his thickness. If you guys have that figure, you've seen that figure. So the pants are really good, and the boots look cool as well, uh, too. Um, the shirt looks good. You've got, uh, you know, some different detailing in there, just some dirty, you know, just some dirt kind of mixed in there with a nice brown... Um, wash at the top of it kind of like he's been sweating and maybe just uh you know having to go to the ground with some walkers to uh you know hammer him out uh speaking of hammer uh, i think that's about all i want to say for the design of the figure let's talk about the accessories so the hammer looks great really really cool uh as you can see it's his trusty you know zombie killing weapon it's as important for him as it is michonne's katana uh, very important and they nailed it it looks great both ends to it look legit Looks just like a real hammer. Can't go wrong. He holds it really, really well, too. Now, that said, this hand is uh, is like a uh, an open fist, and the other hand is two, so he cannot properly hold his gun. You see, it doesn't have a trigger finger like this. He can't, he can't do that. He can't, you know, hold. So they include the gun with a silencer, which is like, a, you know, I guess like a flashlight they were using as silencers for a while there for this one. He can't holster it. He's got no holster for it. Um, and he can't properly hold it. So that's a little bit of a disappointment. The way I have him is just kind of holding it like that downwards um, Just so that you know, it kind of makes it look like he's just holding the gun and mainly You know, he's going to be using the hammer to kill walkers. He also comes with a shotgun But I seem to have misplaced it. I believe I actually may have accidentally left it in the package and thrown it in the garbage <laughs> So which sucks, but uh, I'll show you guys a picture of it. Let's uh, let's do that now. So, yep, here's a picture of him holding the shotgun. As you can see, it is a new shotgun. It's not the same as uh, Shane's that was released earlier on with him, which is pretty cool, but I don't really remember him using a shotgun. Uh, to tell you the truth, I don't. And also, as you can see, with no trigger finger, all he can do is straight up hold it. So, I mean, you know, it's not a bad thing they include the accessory. Why not? But he can't properly use it. So that kind of is like... What's the point? He can't hold it properly, you know? 
All he can do is do that, stand there and just kind of hold it like that. So, I don't know, whatever. Decent accessory, I guess, but not really applicable to this figure, I'd have to say. All right, good stuff. So that's mostly what I wanted to say for the figure. In terms of articulation, he doesn't have any articulation at the waist, and all the other joints are the same as we normally get. So they're the same as all the other Walking Dead figures. Uh, in terms of him as a figure, he's really cool. This is one of the ones I was more excited for, him and Glenn, because um, we don't know if we're ever going to get a comic book series figure version of Tyrese. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and predict that we probably won't ever get one because even though he was a character that was around for a really long time in the books, um, that was a long time ago, and I really highly doubt if they're not going to do a lorry from either the uh, television series or comic book series, I highly doubt that they'd be making a comic book series version of Tyrese. I just, I don't see it. Uh, personally, I don't see it. So uh, if you're a fan of the character, if you like Tyrese in either the comic books or the TV series, this one is a great... Uh, representation of him. Really cool sort of uh, right-hand man for Rick from the uh, comic book series or for the TV series. Uh, you know, a great character, obviously saving Judith in the TV series. Um, you know, it just it just makes for a great choice, especially the hammer accessory. Kind of a bigger figure, which is cool. You just, you can't go wrong with this one. He, he's a good one. I, I highly recommend him. Out of uh, Series 5, I'd go with him and Glenn as the two best figures to get. If you're going to get a Glenn, you're probably going to want a Maggie. Um, so if you just want to buy one figure out of the set, I, I think Tyrese is, is not a bad choice for that, either Tyrese or Glenn. Anyway, um, to give him a score, I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. Yeah, pretty high score. Uh, I just think he looks really good. I think he really captures the uh, Chad Coleman as Tyrese. He really captures the essence of the character. And I absolutely love the fact that he can really hold his hammer well and smash some zombie skulls with it. So let me know what you guys think about Wave 5 of the Walking Dead television series of figures. If you're going to buy any, which ones are you going to buy? And which one is your favorite? For me, I guess my favorite would... Yeah, I got it. I guess so. Uh, I guess so. My favorite would be Tyrese. Second favorite being Glenn after after uh, you know going on this in detail. So anyway, um, let me know what you guys think about the figures and whether or not you're still collecting. If you're going to pick up the Daryl, which should be coming up soon with the motorcycle. So that should be cool next month. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for this round of reviews until we get some more figures. And I do some more reviews for the Daryl with the motorcycle, for the seat with the Season 4 gear on, and also uh, some of the others that are released this summer awesome comic book series figures coming out a comic book series accurate modern rick which looks really cool at least with the long hair and beard and everything and white shirt uh the andrea we're also getting a carol herschel abraham lots of cool figures coming out can't, can't go wrong with the mcfarlane uh collection is really awesome for walking dead anyway i'll call it here that's it for this video guys i'll see you for the next one this is trev same peace